So I think I'm gonna just start with a few sprays of this um, K Nature Awesome True Toner. It's very soothing and calming and it's loaded with a lot of different natural ingredients which I love a bunch. I think I'm gonna go for a mineral sunscreen from Isn Tree. It is my ultimate favorite uh, for a mineral sunscreen. You know, uh, mineral sunscreens always tend to be really chalky or too greasy or heavy on the skin, but this one is not like that at all. Hmm. As you can see, it has no white cast and it glides on beautifully onto the skin. And I'm applying it onto my neck as well. And I think I'm gonna just skip a full face foundation for today's look. And it's gonna be a quick um, dinner night out. And you know, this is my uh, favorite liquid concealer at the moment. It's very cheap, like $10. So after covering up any shadowy areas or redness around my uh, nose, I still need a bit of a, a pinpoint concealing to cover up any uh, dark spots and blemishes. Uh, that is how I create a very quick foundation-free uh, skin. Then I'm going to move on to my brows. Just fill them in with short and light strokes. And you can watch my full video dedicated to how I do my brows. And what I like about this brow pencil is that it comes with a small brow fixture as well. And it works just fine. To set and add some volume to my brows. Then I think I'm gonna uh Play with this beautiful Ligi eye palette. For my base, I'm using this matte neutral shade here. And I'm using my must have eyeshadow uh, brush. It's such a nice brush for the price, it picks up the color very well and softly blends out the color like a cheaper version of Picasso 239. I also like using it along my lower lash line. This golden brown shade here, I am sweeping across the lid very lightly with this Guan Hair brush to add some dimension and texture. For today's look, I just want that cloud of colors uh, on my entire lid so um, I spread out the color quite high up here, almost uh, reaching out to my brow bones. Pop the color onto my cheek and sort of join it with the eyeshadow. You can just use your finger to um, apply and blend it in. I really do love the texture of it. It's it's like a somewhere between a mousse and a jelly, and it feels so soft and nice on the skin. And it still does have a good amount of color payoff. Look how it melts into the skin without being too too creamy or too greasy at all. Then I think I'm going to blend out any edges with a lighter beige shade from the same Trish Pan blush range. Flat top blending brush for a shameless finish. Then I'm going to use a highlighter shade from this Everyday Minerals Check to Check um, palette. 
it is called Sheer Honest. Can you see the golden sort of beige, pink shade here? It's so pretty and feels quite nice on the skin. Hmm. I'm going to pop a little uh, to do the problem as well. And using a brush liner, I'm just filling in any gaps between my lash lids. I love the applicator that gives me a lot of control and I can just do whatever I want with the brush liner. You can keep it as thin as possible like I'm doing right now or I can just go for a, a thicker plague as well. And the shade is just perfect. It's somewhere between a brown and a black. I think I'm just gonna pop a little bit of uh, pink glitter. Can you see? It's so pretty. It has impeccable amount of color payoff as well. I'm just focusing on the center of the lid and just keep it nice and simple underneath as well and i'm just going to apply a huge amount of mascara right down to my um lash roots i have become a lifetime consu consumer of this black mascara it's so good it adds up a lot of volume and length at the same time and it's probably one of the best cheap mascaras you can ever find and I'm using my heated Irish color to sort of um, remove any excess clumps and separate my lashes and for my lips, I'm going to use a a pure um, Drish Pang mousse tint. It has a very uh, silky satin matte finish uh, that just glides in beautifully on the lips, and you can see the color payoff is very strong as well. And after the color is on, I'm sort of using my a tiny little brush from Guan He to sort of maximize the lips but without any harsh edges. This brush is very versatile. I use it for um, pinpoint concealing and also as my lip, um, lip brush diffuse the color that you cannot see where it starts or ends 